so this is one of our last module here at BMW Future Summit. This module is uh, level four-ish. They're not really saying what level because in this module, you'll see that as we're driving through the city, um, the driver is supposed to just kick back, read a newspaper, be more relaxed uh, versus the other ones that we've seen earlier in the day. So hi, I'm Vincent. How are you? Thank you, I'm fine. So did I sum that up correctly? What we're sounds gonna be good. experiencing? Yeah, sounds good. All right, let's get going. And yeah. if you can kind of talk to us um, as you go along what you're doing, that'd be really great. Okay, then here we go. We are going on to our track. See the lane marked here. The system says it's ready. And here we go. We activate the system. The system is now in fully automated mode. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we will recognize the vehicle and will react to it. So this is part of the AI uh, data that you're basically labeling, machine learning, taking into account for all the what we're seeing here. So in this case, we need the AI to distinguish between all the raw data that which is not relevant. So right. All, all the blue points that you can see here, you take the relevance data from it, which you can see in the red. Right, and then so it's paying its most attention to the vehicle in front of us. Yes. And should it stop or, if, you know, if we're, yes. should it speed up, we'll, we'll have more space to speed up within speed limit, of course. That's correct, yes. So we keep a constant distance now to this car, and uh, this car will now take a left turn. So you can see the leaf at this junction. Now we don't have a car in front of us and thus we will accelerate to 50 kilometers per hour to the city speed. Got it. So guys, this is really exciting stuff because even though BMW is saying in 2021 we'll have level three of highway driving, but level four-ish is where we're aspiring to be. And uh, I'm sorry, I'll let you continue what's going on here. Now we enter a roundabout. You see this other vehicle which is also in the roundabout at the line of way. So we reacted correctly to this vehicle. Now we follow this vehicle through the roundabout. Now this vehicle exits the roundabout. You can see here. And um, we also exit the roundabout having the indicator set automatically. Going back on the track. So how would the car have known that we were wanting to go this route versus taking that right back there? It's basically the navigational path that we programmed in. So it has to be, it still has to be pre-programmed. Yeah, you have to say where you want to go, of course, and then we take some route. Now at this junction, there is another vehicle coming from the right, which has also the right way in this case. We also let this vehicle pass, and then follow this vehicle. So with that being said, we definitely need the 5G technology because there's so much data. So that brings up a good point. How much of the local data is required on a car versus being connected to the cloud for this to all mm -hmm. happen in 20 whatever? Now at the moment we are just self-contained at this point. Oh you are? So yes. this is all self-contained? Yes, yeah. Of course um, in the future we will have to load map data from the back end. Mm -hmm. Um, but that doesn't require a constant connection to the back end. Okay. And that's going to require a whole bunch of computing process, basically. That's, that's true, yeah. To interpret all the data, so we really gather a lot of data because we have radar sensors, we have LiDAR sensors, we have camera sensors, of course. A lot of that data has to be processed, has to be interpreted, has to be filtered. And from that output, we have to deduce which path to take, how to drive, and so on. That needs a lot of computing power. At, uh, in today's computing processing power, do you foresee that there's enough here to work with at the present moment? Um, yeah, for the development, it's sufficient. Mm -hmm. And I think the challenge is to bring that into the car uh, for production then. So you've got five to seven, eight years for the um, whoever the partner is going to process some power is going to be able to catch up and get caught up with what your needs are then. 
Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, guys. That was awesome. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. That's the wrap for uh, the.